Good evening, this is Donald, the Repentless, with your Repentless News Brief. Donald Trump has been a polarizing figure in the 2016 presidential primaries. Love him or hate him, you can't ignore him. With 16 states yet to vote and 769 delegates up for grabs, the delegate tally stands as follows. 755 for Trump, 505 for Cruz, and 144 for Kasich. These numbers are only estimates at this time. With talk of the Republican con con convention ending up being a brokered convention, Trump has got to overcome the recent momentum of Ted Cruz in order to avoid a brokered convention scenario. The last time a Republican convention came close to being brokered was in 1976 when Gerald Ford edged out Ronald Reagan in the first ballot. This was also the last time the Republican convention opened without any of the candidates securing enough vote delegates to win the nomination outright. Marco Rubio, who withdrew from the race after losing his home state of Florida, is reported to have said that he thinks that if Donald Trump wins the nomination, it will fracture the Republican Party. With the Stop Trump movement, this argument does have some merit. On the other hand, if we end up with a brokered convention and Donald Trump does not emerge as the candidate and nominee, a couple of things might happen. Trump might try to mount a third-party candidacy, either that or since I don't see Donald Trump as a big forgive and forget kind of guy, I could easily see him jumping ship and endorsing someone like Hillary Clinton, despite someone like Ted Cruz. In any event, this is the most contentious primary season I've seen in my lifetime, and Trump is one of the most contentious candidates in a long time. A kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't candidate. Trump may well fracture the Republican Party voting bloc in November and jeopardize the Republican Party's hope of retaking the White House, leading to a second Democratic administration in a row. Meanwhile, the two Democratic candidates for president continue to trade jabs at one another heading into the Northeast primaries, with Senator Sanders calling Hillary Clinton unqualified to be president, and Secretary Clinton questioning whether Bernie Sanders is actually a Democrat. The Democratic race for the nomination is becoming more heated as the primary season moves on, with both camps beginning to use attack ads against one another. Admittedly, Bernie Sanders has the toughest road going forward. If he has a chance to win the nomination at all, he has to almost sweep the remaining states by a significant margin, as well as convince a significant number of superdelegates to side with him instead of Hillary. While Hillary Clinton has merely to beat the expectations and win or lose by narrow margins the remaining states and keeping the superdelegates that she's accumulated thus far. If what I heard during the Idaho Democratic caucuses holds true a couple weeks ago, you can expect Hillary Clinton to continue to push the narrative of being ahead in the delegate count and make and saying it's time to rally behind her so she can focus on taking on the eventual Republican nominee, while Bernie Sanders will have to continue the narrative that he's winning, which makes him the better candidate to take on the Republican nominee in November. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Comment your views of the presidential race so far in the comment section below. And subscribe for more Repentless News Briefs uploaded at 10 p.m. Mountain Time nightly. Until next time, this is Donald the Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everyone.